Kennedy half dollar in 2024 is over 60 years old. Can you believe it? Still running strong. And the unique thing is, is the U.S. Mint has not released one for circulation since 2002. So we're talking about 23 years of just special collector issues. But there is an issue we always have to talk about, and it's plain sight when you look at the numbers. Let's talk about certified 66s tonight, everyone. And the conversation I want to have is this. The government releases and has been releasing the Kennedy half dollar two ways, two primary ways, since 2002. And that is in bags of 100 and then rolls, regular rolls, P&D rolls you can buy. There's no way, of, the only way you can get a single is out of the uncirculated set, and that's with all the other coins in it. So it's very, very unique as to how they're put together and how they're sold. But when you look at certified numbers, it gets to be somewhat staggering. Back in 2021, just a couple of years ago, we were at 1,386 and 66 or higher out of the Philadelphia Mint and only 1,012 out of the Denver Mint. Very tiny number. Then you go to 2022 and it dropped to 766 and 929. But you remember, that was the year the U.S. Mint said, we're only making 1.5 million P's and D's respectively, and it sold out in a matter of minutes. Even though every year that's kind of what they make. Now last year, 763 P's, 723 D's. That's out of 1.625 million coins made. Now, part of the reason why you do not find 66 and higher today is this. As I referenced, the two primary ways are bags and rolls. Bags are coins jingling in a cloth bag, right? Rolls are rolled tight. Well, using the mintages, the government caps, you have 26,250 rolls. That's 525,000 coins. And you have 11,000 bags. That's 1.1 million. So two-thirds of the coins released are loose, which will not grade. And we know that high grade. So it just kind of sums it up and makes total sense. Anybody look at the price, by the way? We're at $29.95 for the two-piece set. That means we're under $15 a coin. My competition, we found the pair as well. $99.95. We saw the D at 39 by itself. We saw the P at 29 by itself. We're at $29.95 for the pair, everyone. For the pair. Now, the Kennedy is one of those beloved coins, as I referenced walking into this conversation. It started back in 1964 due to the unfortunate events in his assassination in late 1963, to a point where we pulled it from circulation because we just don't use big coins anymore in 2001, but the uproar was, hold it, we love collecting the big Kennedy. It is the Kennedy and the Lincoln are the two top collector coins currently made by the U.S. Mint in uncirculated condition. It's just the top of the top. And as I referenced, the surprising thing again is we are looking at over 60 years 23 years, the Kennedy half dollar has been made just for collectors. Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up. I didn't have a lot of these and they're priced perfectly. I mean, we're talking, we're, for the pair, we are less than our competition for either coin. The only competitor that had a pair was at $99.95 as I referenced. So again, it's all about the numbers. They made 1.625 million coins, P's and D's. All right, most of them are in bags, which is why, which jingle around, which is why high grade doesn't happen. The rest are in rolls. Then it's about the quality of coin because the strikes the same, the packaging is slightly different. So we kind of get an idea there. But then you look at the history over the last five years, the last seven years, we've been hanging out at about a thousand coins, making it this nice, a very selective group. Last year, it dipped under 1,000 at only 763, 723. 
2024 is young, but I can tell you this, at $29.95 for both Kennedys in 66, it's a steal.